Hey, what's up YouTube? Heidi Crayfish here, and today we're going to be making a spiral hot dog. As you probably know, or you may not know, I have a hot dog cart. It's behind me, this is my hot dog cart. Um, I used to sell hot dogs in it, but I don't anymore because the business weren't that good. But I still like hot dogs, so I thought today we'd make some spiral hot dogs with this kit. Now, I found this hot dog kit in one of the local shops called Mr. DIY. So first of all, I'm gonna check out what's inside the box. I have an idea what's inside it. Yeah, let's get this one open. Okay, let's see what we get inside. Well, it's a good start, an empty bag. Here we go, that's one. That's two, and that's it. I didn't get me 20 hot dog recipes. Never mind, I was looking forward to that. We get a big one, these are big hot dogs, so maybe the jumbo chicken and cheese might fit in here, I don't know. So you just put your hot dog in and then you just close the lid and it cuts it for you, so this should be quite cool. Um, some bamboo skewers, they're not going to be that handy though, this one's got a big bend in it. Put a load of shit. On the box it actually shows metal ones, but you don't get metal ones, you get bamboo. It's not good. You have a small one as well, as you can see, open it up, put the hot dog inside, close it. Job's a good one. Uh, so they seem pretty easy to use. So now I'm gonna get some hot dogs and we'll try it out. Right, so now I've got my hot dogs. I think I'm gonna use a small one because that looks about the right, right size. First, I need to put the hot dogs on the skewer. Careful fingers. Oh shit. Don't break it. <laughs> Don't break it. Shit. Fuck's sake, look at that. The problem is that these hot dogs are really thick, they're not like really soft. Right, here you go. It's about right. Okay, so now we're going to put the hot dog in the case and hopefully make it into a spiral hot dog. So I think we put it in like this and then we've got to close the case like this, can you see? And just close it. Jesus Christ, come on. It's quite hard because I think the hot dog's quite thick so it's not like cutting it properly. But hopefully that's got it. Right, so that's one hopefully done. So we need to open it. It's not done a bad job. It looks not too bad. It might be actually a product that works, so that's a good thing. Um, so that's one ready for the frying pan. Now I'm gonna do number two very quickly. Okay, that's another one on the skewer. Into the hot dog thing. Close it. There we go. So, there you go. We've got the spiral cuts in it. So now we're gonna go to the frying pan and we're gonna fry them. Check it out, you can see the spiral opening up as you fry it. Quite awesome guys, quite like this. Really nearly done now, nearly cooked. So here we have it guys, these are the finished products after we fried it. They don't actually look too bad actually, I'm quite pleased with this. So maybe one day I might serve these on my cart again, I don't know. So just tell me what you think in the comments below, do you think these are spiral cut or what, what do you think? Okay guys, I'm back for cook from cooking the hot dogs now. Um, they actually look really good these hot dogs, I'm really impressed with this product. Uh, they look exactly like the picture. Maybe a bit more practice and getting looking a bit more like this, but they're not far off the picture, so I'm quite happy with that. Without further ado, let's try a spiral cut hot dog. Let's go. Mm. I'd say for first off, the skin of the sausage has definitely gone more crispier because of the cut. So like as it's fried, the skin around the cut has gone really Crispest when you bite it, you get all the like really crispy skin. It's really good. I'm quite impressed with it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I have. I've had some really amazing hot dogs. So yeah, if you liked today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you next time on how to create fish.